everybody. Welcome to the Gym Owners Podcast. Today, we have Javon Times with the gym at 214 Main. Awesome story. Anybody out there that has been thinking about buying a gym or if you're a personal trainer, that it's always your end goal to own a gym. Javon's the man. He lived that life. And I want to hear his story um, on what it took him to become a gym owner and the challenges or uh, what he's doing now to be successful to help maybe help others that that are out there. Um, so Javon, thank you for coming on the cast. Yes. I'm awesome. glad to How's be everything? here, man. Thank you. I love thank being you. in your presence, baby. <laughs> so, tell, <laughs> so tell us your story. You have a really interesting story. The gym that you currently own right now, you used to work there as a personal trainer. Yeah. Um, tell us the story with that. How long did it take? Like how long were you a trainer there? The, what happened with that that allowed you to become the owner, like tell us, tell us uh, your story. I, I, I'm gonna go back a little bit, man. Probably, probably 2000. Um, let's say 2018. Eight. I say 18. What am I talking about? By 2008, um, I came. I, I moved from Alabama to to um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I came in because basically I just didn't have any work. I was trying to find. Um, work in what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I got a degree. I got three degrees. I got one in math, one in fitness and wellness, and my master's in sports fitness. And I'm trying to like, man, what can I do? So lo and behold, I did have, um, when I was over in Alabama, they, um, there, was a, there was a gym that was there, and she had three facilities. And in those three facilities, she, she provided a certification for me to actually go and get. So, and, that, and the first thing I asked was, is it accredited? She said, yes. That was kind of stuff like that. And it was like a one-day course. You come in, you know, you take the test, boom, it's done. And then now you become a certified personal trainer. Lo and behold, man, uh, maybe um, uh, one day, I, like I said, I was just struggling really bad because I couldn't find work. I couldn't find, you know, go try to get work at the hospital, try to go different places, try to go homes. I tried to go to people's homes, things like that. And it just wasn't working out. So then when I decided to do was um I, I was talking to my sister. She lived in, in North Carolina. And she said, how about you and your family move to move to North Carolina? Now, mind you, I just moved from Bermuda. I just moved from Bermuda, probably in 2004 or whatever. I was working at a school. I'm a professor now. I'm a professor now. I teach at two different schools. And um, I moved from there over to, um, to Charlotte. Long story short, you know what I'm saying? I know, uh, long story short, uh, man, I did the old school way. And I know that some people are like, what? Yeah, I had a suit on. I had the suit with the with the resume in my hand, you know, walking through, man. And I was like, here, this is Javon, blah, blah, blah. And I let them see who I was. So then that's how I became a teacher. And then I kind of slid, I kind of slid right into the, the personal training thing. I was always training. I was always training. I just need to be certified in doing that. So I actually did that. Um, once I got here, like I said, to Charlotte and whatever, um, there was something on, um, I'm trying to think what that, it was like old school, maybe like Meetup or, or not Meetup or one of those old, um, man, I can't think of it right now, but it was conference? old. Huh? Like no, kind of like, um, uh, when, when you advertise your, um, Jesus, I can't think of it right now. But it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But anyway, I I, I, I looked on like with one of the social media things, and um, and they said they were looking for some trainers. So I come over to the to the gym, the gym that I'm in right now. I walk in with my suit on, with my little my my, my resume in my hand. She was like, wow, you know, ooh, wow, you know, that kind of stuff like that. Of course, you know, I came in, gave my resume, and that kind of stuff. They only told me, Javon, you only got two hours. Like two hours to what? Two hours to train? They say, yeah. So, wow. <laughs> and so they had other trainers. So they only said that you can only work between this time and that time. And that right. was the only times that you had. And so, mind you, when I, my, first, my first client was a pregnant lady. I think she was about five months. <laughs> I already know. I already knew at that time that my, my window was short and I had to try to find a way to get people in the door at least like me or whatever, you know that kind of stuff. And of course, I'm new to the to the area, so it was just a it was just a blessing to even be to even get to that point. So they at least like me to come in because before that, I was going to people's homes, you know, every day, 
stuff like that. And that didn't work out too good because, you know, things started to come off and I didn't too much like that. So <laughs> especially dealing with the opposite, you know, sex. So for me, I was just like, no, let me run. I'm kind of like David. I'm running, getting away from that. Let's go and find somewhere to where um, people can come to me. And so that's where the gym at 214 Main came that place. So how did so how long were you there as a trainer before you eventually became the owner? Like what was that process? Like how like how long did it take? What was the yeah. the proposition that you and how like how did that come to be that you're the owner? And so 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 what happened was in 2008, that's what that happened. I went through two owners at that time. I went through uh two different owners. Um, I was always the trainer, you know, I guess the the head trainer, you know what I'm saying, that was in here. And um, I kind of ran the place and kind of did everything. When the when the last owner came in, he told me I had first dibs. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, tell me how much, you know, he told me how much it was. I was like, okay, great. I said, let me go and see what I can do and that kind of stuff. So basically it was a turnkey kind of thing. So in 2020 is when I actually bought the gym. Um, which I was already in and I was already taken care of. I was already doing all the stuff that was in here already. Have, I mean, sometimes he wasn't even here, but he would come in the morning, but I would be here in the evening, so people would see me a lot during that time. Even now, I'm here. You know, I'm usually in the morning. Now, I'm not here because I'm at teaching class or whatever, but they see me throughout the day, and I just I just set a certain um, schedule for myself. What do you think which... What do you think was the biggest change from the old owner from when you took it over? What was one of the, did you make any big changes? Because now it's your gym. Um, yeah. What do you think one of your, the, your biggest change was? And if there was a change, how hard was it to put it in motion? So, so I really didn't change any as far as the structure of the gym and how it was done. I just mm -hmm. added little pieces in that I felt was going to you know, help the gym a little bit. Like um, to my to my right is a actual studio to where they can kind of do um, aerobics or or different things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I put a boxing piece in there. Um, I put all kind of different things in there, just kind of showing people um, what they can, other things that, that are added to this. So it also when I came in, when people signed up, I gave bracelets. You know what I'm saying? That said, the best kept secret in Fort Mill. You know, people love that because really we didn't do a lot of advertisement at all because we're right here on Main Street. Um, mm -hmm. People come by, you know, day and night, that kind of stuff. And then they stop by and say, oh, there's a gym here? Well, I thought it was just the front part. And then they go and look at it and go, oh, okay, it's a bigger gym than I thought. So it was one of them things like I, I really didn't have to do a lot of footwork because the footwork was already done. So uh, in, in, in my case, as I looked at the, the makeup of the gym, I just felt, well, hey, we just need to um, make it more into our century. You know what I'm saying? It, was, it had old, like, um, like signage, stuff like that. You just kind of, you know, beautify that a little bit. Did some, did some paint jobs here and there. You know, <laughs> added, I, added a, like, I added a piece in the, in the middle room. Actually, one of the clients gave me that. Um, it was a piece of um, like cedar wood. They actually cut it and made like a shelf for me. So, and then I put a big old um, like whiteboard inside there. So, you know, and so that I can write on the board and people can see exactly what kind of workouts to do for the day. Now, which I change every Sunday. Well, I think when I first talked to you, I think you said that uh, like the previous owner wasn't using any software and that like he was pretty much doing everything by hand in Excel. Mm -hmm. And like that's that's a huge change in my eyes. Like you're going from Man. doing hours of secretary and without yeah. naming any names. I don't want you to name names of yeah. like other yeah. softwares that you, we switched over to or anything. But like, yeah. I I know from running a gym from Excel, like that had to be hours out of your day yeah. following up, and like that's a big change to yeah. picking other software. That, that was a big change. That was a big change going from Excel, and then I use I use one one company. And I thought that company, you know, that company was good. And then, actually, you know, what was so funny? I told you, I told you the first day I had, I had met you. I said, you know, actually, when I was looking from going from Excel to something else, I actually looked at, uh, I looked at Jim Insight, and I said, oh, you know, that whatever, because your face looked familiar to me. And so, we, as we started talking, <laughs> said, man, 
Dude, I called you or I called whatever it was, I think at the time. And I think that, you know, and, and that's what it, I, I called at the time or or either that was one of my my three. I always go three. I pick three different companies and then I go, let me choose out of my three, which one I think I like, whatever. <laughs> and, you know, I went from I went from that. Actually, I went from Excel. No, well, let's say this. He was using Excel. I was just a trainer. So I had a I had a I had a um um software that I was using. And then I, what I did, I just brought that software over because he was using Excel. And right. then when I used that, then I was like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. Then as you want to see them, your numbers and stuff like that, you go, oh, maybe I'm spending a little bit too much money. Maybe I need to go and find something else, blah, blah, blah. And man, when I called you, it was like butter. I was like, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was butter, baby. So you're pretty happy <laughs> and, with and, the switch and I, I, knew, I knew this was it. And I knew I couldn't go nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I, I appreciate Jim and Sai. Every time I call, it's like it's like all my homeboys on the phone at one time. <laughs> we answer the phone here, that's for sure. Yes, and, sir. I mean, and just so so everyone knows, like normally when you switch software, it's like you have to get a data dump and everything. He put in to his credit, he put in every single member uh himself. Like yeah. he so that was about two hundred that was about two hundred and forty some people. That I put in, and I did that. I I would say wasn't about a week, two weeks, something like that. Yeah, you, you, was it yeah. Less, it was like, I don't know. It, it I just was a pretty kept doing the process. I, hey, hey, when you just turn the game on, you turn, you watch different stuff. You just go click, 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 copy, paste, copy, paste until you get it right. Until you, <laughs> once you got it, and then they go, "Hey, you done?" Now there were some nights I stayed up really, really late because it was just maybe going to the weekend or something like that, you know. But when the days when I knew I had to get up at, at five o'clock in the morning because I had to be at the gym to train, you know, then I was like, okay, let me go and get in bed by about at least 11. <laughs> but, hey, hey. but you know what? The thing about it is done now. I probably got about maybe two people that I just need their their pricing. I mean, their, um, their, their information. That's it. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. To any gym owner that's if you're watching this going that's crazy we do offer data dumps so just so you know there you don't have to put you don't have to do what this man did yeah yeah uh, yeah he was just don't in a situation like where me. he couldn't get his credit card information so that's don't why like he, that's <laughs> we do offer that if you're watching just so you know um yeah but you know what that i mean because you did it that way i think on the first training you were able to show like software training, like, hey, I know how to do this. I know how to do that. How to do so you were like, I mean, I we can hire up. you I'll... as customer service. Hey, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. Just let me know. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> so, I was, I, I, I knew a lot of stuff, so I didn't have to get a lot of training. Now it's almost like, hey, I got this. Can you show me this? Which is what I probably would have did after it got dumped and everything else and whatever. It was like, I'm actually, it was like on the job training, you know, like, ooh. Yeah. Show me that. Show me this. And it was like, boom, boom, boom. So now when I call, it may be like, it may take maybe less than five minutes for me to go and say, say this. And they say, okay. And then I know exactly what to do. So I don't have to do that. No more. I think people that still use Excel, because there are still gym owners out there that use Excel. And I think the reason is, well, I'm doing this to save money. But I think you, you, and you probably will agree with me. When you use Excel, you're not saving any money because your time is valuable. Um, I would rather be able to let a system do everything for me than spend yeah. half of my day being stressed out playing debt collector. Yeah. And there's money that's left on the ground when you do that as well. Cause it doesn't, you know, there's just money that slips through the cracks when you do it by uh, Excel or a pen and paper. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got you running up on uh, the program. That's yeah. Running like a friendly I get happy every day. Team. I actually push on it, man. Just push on just because I just want to see it, see see what happens today or whatever. You know, hey, I got a little issue today, but hey, we're going we're gonna to fix that later. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. So um, through the years that you run the gym, what would you say are some of the things, I know your gym's on Main Street, so you get a lot of foot traffic there, but what is some of the things that you do that keeps you successful? Um, I think when people can see me, for one, I mean, if you, if I was to show, if I was to show my truck outside, they'd be like, "Wow, okay, 
I got a truck. We got my we got my advertisement around it. People see it every single day. They either say, "Hey, you passed me," or you know, "You're right beside me today." I even had people who called me while I'm on the highway, and they're, "Hey, I'm looking for a training." Blah 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 blah. You know, I tell them that. So that helps with in in that way. Um, a lot of stuff that helps. I do a lot of stuff in the community to where you know, working with um, working with the city. You know what I'm saying? So like, we have um, I have corporate. Um, um, contracts with with the city, to where like even today a police officer came in the day. He said, "Hey, I want to sign up." Blah blah blah, and then the city pays so much, and then they pay so much. You know, so those kind of things, you know, are incentives. You know, like hey, he has, she has. I mean, he has a a husband. I mean, a wife, and then you know that kind of stuff. And then they want to bring the family, and they want to find a way. They want to get away from the why. You know what I'm saying? So. Our place is more like a what we call a semi-private. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like a lot of foot traffic. I don't have to do a lot of advertisement. I don't have to go out there and be like, "Hey, come to my gym." You know, I really don't, because it's most it's mostly word of mouth and people kind of talk and they see and they. It's kind of what they call passive. I guess passive training or passive advertising. You know, as, very as, as they see it, they go, "Hey, let's go." So you're an active owner. You're always at the gym. It's not like yeah. you just hire somebody that so yeah. people can see, hey, the owner's in the office all the time. I could talk to him if I need. That's that's okay. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I know you also do personal training, which is crazy because being an, uh, uh, a manager or owner of the gym, of being yeah. there, takes so much time. Um, how would you say you balance your time where I can run the gym through the day, but I can still find time to do training? Like, is how how do you keep balance in your life to do that? So I, I guess for me, I've always been the trainer, right? So it was so easy to go right into the ownership. Ownership just means that I own I own it now. Now I gotta take care of just maybe some more some more things. Maybe I gotta take out the garbage. Maybe I gotta mop the floor. Maybe I got whatever. But I have one guy who actually cleans the gym. You know what I'm saying? He cleans the gym, comes in and cleans everything. I make sure that, that the clients wipe stuff or, or me and my wife come on. On Sundays, and then we wipe, you know, we wipe stuff, and I wipe stuff during the week. I might do the, you know, I might mop the, the floor in the, in the bathroom, down the hallway in the morning, or something like that. So it's real, it's real easy. The gym is probably fifty five hundred square feet, you know what I'm saying, which is pretty big. But I mean, it's it's big enough that I can get done within the next 30, 40 minutes. So like in the morning, say for instance, a, a day like today. Um, I'm up at five o'clock. I'm here at the gym at six. I leave here at eight. I teach class at nine, uh, nine thirty. I come back. I come back here around about let's say twelve because I might want to get some eat in between that. And then I'm here the rest of the day until about seven. So at that time, people see me. They coming in. People who call, I just tell them, "Hey, I'm here between one and seven. And so it becomes an easy day, you know, for me. And then, oh, I can leave, I can come back or whatever. If I, nobody has set a, an appointment with me or I don't have any clients during that time or whatever. So um, I just schedule around whatever I need to do. Like I got to go and get tags in my car. So, hey, let's go ahead. You know, I know I have this block of time. Boom, go and get them tags, you know, whatever. Or send it in. Gotcha. So, I know you also help, like you, you talk to other trainers and, you, you know, try to help them out. If uh, you were to give advice to a trainer that's looking to have their own gym, um, I know the um, I I stress on the appointments of memberships because the memberships are what's going to pay your bread and butter mm -hmm. that are just going to constantly come in every single month. What would you say is the most important thing or some advice to if you're going from trainer to owner that you would give a trainer? Um, I would say, man, for for me. Um, like I said, it was it was so easy because a lot of people already knew me. So I would say in my case, um, if I'm showing a trainer, I would show them how to build their personal training business because that's what's going to be their really their bread and butter. Everybody else is kind of um, the pad the padding around. You know what I'm saying around your personal training um because that's what's going to make you more money most money going to come from your 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 personal training or or from that that sense depending on how much you charge and whatever i do more group training to where you know i have maybe like four people at one time i might have um because i believe time is money so if i can have four people on each slot 
or wherever my slots may be. And somebody say three o'clock, I might say, hey, let me put four people in 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 those three o'clock. So I just made about three hundred some dollars or four hundred some dollars in just that one spot, you know, or had you know, and just kind of do that. Uh, transitioning to to being the owner. Um, it just means that you got to pay the bills now. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it comes down to. Not that you didn't have bills as a, as a trainer, but now you have to, you know, take care of the lights. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that um, the windows are clean or that the floor is clean or make sure that you take out the humidifier because of, you know, there's is maybe damp in the area. Who knows? Or um, I got to mop the floor, make sure that the toilet is not overflowing or make sure that you, you do the... Um, uh, you change the lights inside of it. You don't have LED lights. You got those fluorescent lights. You got to change those lights or you got to change the air conditioning because you got the portable ones in the back and then in the front, you got something different. You got to fan all that stuff out. So those are the kind of things, I guess the everyday things that I do every single day, making sure that the, that the wipes are inside, make sure you have enough wipes, make sure you order them already. You know what I'm saying? Those, those things, make sure all those things are done, you know, beforehand. So those are kind of like little small things that, that makes you the difference between being just a trainer and being the owner. But at the same time, as a trainer, they fill in because they say, hey, the wipes are out, and then we're going to get some more wipes. Because now they become your, they help you out because you're helping them out. Gotcha. And, and, keep, and to be fair, you're, a lot of your group training, you sell us memberships. Like, you're getting a monthly thing. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, so... Um, yes, correct. How, how, how beneficial was that, that you switched that over to a monthly membership base for group training rather than selling somebody sessions every single time? Like, how yeah. has that been beneficial to you? I think for me, I always looked at it, like, how can I make the most money? And I think, you know, I looked at that model, which was, you know, sell sessions. And sessions for me didn't necessarily work for me because in that I, I wanted a win-win situation. You know what I'm saying? How can you win as a client and how can I win as, as, your, as your trainer? which means that time is where I win, right? And because um, I already have the knowledge, I have the things that you that you are seeking because you you came to me for a reason. When people come to the door, I say, hey, <laughs> now is the time. Say, yeah, now is the time. You know, that's, <laughs> it looked all pitiful in the face, you know. And so my thing is, it's like, how can I help you get to the next level? You know what I'm saying? As a trainer, as, a, as an individual, you know what I'm saying? So really, for me, um, I'm not just an owner. I, owner is just what what I'm what I'm given because I chose I chose to take that path. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always going to be that trainer. I'm always going to be that person that um, that's going to help you get to the next level. And um, and I tell people all the time um, when trainers because there's other trainers who come in and they just want to shadow me. You know, they want to shadow and say, "Hey, you know, help me." So what I do, I told them I have a library full of stuff. <laughs> you know, I said, we can look through some books. We can look through certain things. I said, because there's nothing new under the sun. The stuff that I learned, because somebody else taught me the same thing. You know, if there's nothing new under the sun. It's just that, hey, you got to look at it differently. You got to just maybe, hey, look at it, what works for you in your area. Me, I, I, I looked at where I was and I said, oh, there's some old money around here. So how can I do that and make it work for me in this area? People love when they can come in and pay month to month and not having to have a contract and not having to sit here and go, oh, um, so um, how, how does it work? Everybody thinks it's a certain way. I'm real simple. You know what I'm saying? Come in, sign up, that kind of stuff. It goes month to month. If you sign up today, which is the 20th, then next month you're going to be the 20th. If you let me know before the 20th of next month, if you're going to you're gonna stop coming, you know what I'm saying? I'll be sad. But I said, I will take care of you, you know what I'm saying, throughout the whole process, yeah. right? And so yep. they really like that. I've had people from out of town. I had people from, um, came in, do BMX, bike, whatever. They just want a place to train, just come on in. Um, I think what, what helps a lot, too, if people say, I want to bring a buddy, a friend, that kind of works because um, I do a buddy system, too, to where you bring, you 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 come. And that and that friend may come, but they must come at the same time. This is just my personal training. But then they might have a friend who wants to come in as a regular as a regular uh, member, and they might want to bring their significant others or a friend. And then what they do is they just pay five dollars for each time they, that person comes. Of course, you know after they start paying five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, I'm like, hey, why not just get up. the membership? 
<laughs> Why not just get the membership and you wouldn't have to go down that route? They go, oh, yeah, you're right. Why, blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. And so yeah. people like that, you know, the fact that, you know, there's there's options. People like this 24-7. They ain't got to wait for nothing. You know, um, maybe at any given time, um, maybe at the most, man, I, 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 I got, like I said, 240 people, you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, you got some people that don't come. Then you got people that that do come all the time, you know what I'm saying, every day. And you, you can call them by name. And then, you know, you always got, I mean, I always try to be real with people, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, coming through the gym is always a breath of fresh air. I never feel like I'm working. I always feel like I'm having fun every single day, you know nice. what I'm saying? So, you know, so it's just one of those things. I think that as a as a trainer, as an owner, um, there's a lot you can get from it. Um, not just paying bills, but there's freedom. Because that was the first thing I even told you, Anthony. I told you, I said, you know what? I said, what if I want to go to Chicago today and I want to sign somebody up? He said, hey, we got a system for you, brother. And I said, okay, <laughs> show it to me. Show me. Show me. That's what he showed me, right? So he showed it to me, man, and it was gravy from there. I, I, I haven't turned back yet. So, so so far, you would say you you liked because uh, I know um, your your gym is more like it's flipped. Like a lot of people at your gym do training, which I yeah. think is one of the reasons why you're, you're so successful and people end up staying. Yeah. And you're very sincere. Like when someone comes in who has training, you are very sincere. We're like, as long as you give me your motivation, I am going to help you get to the next level. And it doesn't matter what really you charge to a point because. Uh, a person's probably tried this, did that, do that. It's refreshing when you have someone like, okay, this guy has my best interests at heart. Um, you know, I think which uh, you know it's is rare because sometimes you have owners that are aren't involved, which is fine yeah. if that's how you want to run your business. Yeah. But I think if you're going to be involved, you have to be make sure your gym is clean, which you you are not too prideful where you mop it, you mop it yourself, you just clean the bathroom. Just a little while ago, you have to do these things and it's going to show to your members, uh, you know, and, and your members will be proud that there are members of your facility. Yeah. People appreciate that when they come in the, in the gym and it smells good um, and, and the air freshening is going through. I might walk through with some air freshening. I just run through before I leave, <laughs> <laughs> running through the gym, <laughs> that kind of stuff. You know, I'm killing I'm killing something around here. So I just kill it. And then I even have uh I even have one of those little um things, what do you call those things like uh like mosquitoes or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's like a machine and you put the liquid in and you just yeah. kind of pull it and it and they had it doing the COVID thing. Um I can't think of the thing, but they they were going sanitize stuff, whatever it was. But I use that and it has like some fragrance in it. So people love oh, that. Oh yes, too. yes, that cleans the yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's supposed so to clean the me... air and that kind of stuff and let me ask you a question. Yeah. Knowing what you know now, if you could go back to that first day that you took over the gym, what what would you have changed with with all your your life lessons with being a gym owner? What would you have done from the very get go? Man, that's a trick question. Man. <laughs> trick question. <laughs> nah, you know what, man? No, that's that's really nothing. I would really change. Um. Um. One thing I would change, I guess if I had to change anything, is change that rent. But other than that, <laughs> uh, you should have went with us in the beginning. You would have made more money. I, <laughs> I know, right? Hey, that's why I came to you so I can get. No, more I know, money. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So let me uh, ask you another question. So yeah, social media is like playing a really big part, and that there's yeah. some gym owners that are like, "Oh, I'm not social media. I'm not this." It's it's whether you like it or not, it's here to stay, and. Yeah. If you don't use it, you're going to be missing out on the whole next generation right. of people that are going to be members. If you, if you like when we, when we were kids, you know, the internet was coming into of age and you had the old, old school people like, oh, I'm not getting a website. Now those yeah. people like you, you need that. You have to at least have a Facebook yeah. page or anything. So how, what do you do it with social media? If you do anything um, like, are you active on your Facebook page? You do any promotions, yeah. do body by transformations? Yeah. So I can tell you I did and I'm doing and I'm preparing, let's say, because 
before before all that, yes, I did a lot of stuff, social media, far as um, exercise times, dealing with um, my personal training. I did a lot of that going throughout the process, um, which I need to get back to because I was doing more transformation and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard doing that now. Like I can't really have the the boot camps like I really want to, those kind of things. So I'm really trying to find a way to really get those things going. But that's a, that's a, that's a subject for another day, that, which I know Anthony will help me out. And the other and the other thing is. Um, um, now my wife, she takes care of all my social media, so which makes it easier for me. So I Excellent. might come through, I'll take pictures of different things because she's not here, but she's home, but she can take care of, hey, here's some pictures, here's some video. Um, I might even stop and have some people, hey, tell me what you like about the gym. I might quit doing just like we're doing now. You know, you ask me some questions, I go and answer them, all that kind of stuff. And um, uh, I, I, got, I, have, I have a lot of ideas of what I need to do. Um, because of course I've seen a lot, <laughs> you know, when you see it, you're like, Ooh, I can try that. Let me try and try that. I used to look at a lot of stuff in California, uh, different, different, different gyms and different stuff like that, that were out there and what they were doing. I was like, man, I can do that. So, you know, I got a whole bunch of stuff I, I got in my, uh, to actually get this going. I knew that I had to take, it's been what, two years now. And now it's time to go to the next level, which means that gym insight was, was one of them. Uh, the other thing is now trying to push more media like like it was doing at the beginning. When we first bought it, of course, we put a lot of information out. We were taking pictures. We were doing stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But we kind of slowed it down a little bit because we was trying to, now we're trying to get all these things being put together. You know what I'm saying? And now that we got to this point, now it's like, okay, now we, we headed down this road. Let's, let's go and put some, implement some things into place to utilize parts of the gym that's not being used as much. It's being used, yeah. but it's not being used as much to where it should be like right now we're talking, it should be doosh, 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 some class going on, right? So those are the kind of things that I would love to have more because I know that it's going to make the gym better. It's going to make me more money. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just the way it is. How did you, you transition from, because you pretty much were running the club with like almost like you said you were using software back that you originally used back when you were a trainer how how was the transition from moving to that to um like actual gym software what was it was it would you say it was easy for you has it helped you a little bit since switching over to us technical difficulties hello yeah so I, I know you, um, back when you were a trainer, you were using personal training, you were using more software geared to that. And then when you switch over to the gym, you kind of like made that software, you know, to help run the gym. Now that you actually have like gym software set in place, um, how was the transition? And do you see, is, do you, how has it been helping you? So, um, would you say just in case there's other people out there that were in the same position you are, whether they come with us or use another gym software, yeah. would, you, would you find was beneficial of moving to actual gym software? Um, I, I would say that it was, it was simple. Um, really simple to put everything in. Um, I think it's always um, getting better. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's exactly what I needed. You know, you just need the basic stuff to put in. You want to make sure you know names, addresses, emails, phone numbers. You know, you want to know all that kind of stuff. You just want all the basic stuff. And make sure you get your payment, you know what I'm saying, every month or whatever it may be, right? And make, once you got that information in, it's gravy from there. And then, you know, the added stuff that's in there, you know what I'm saying? The added stuff that's in there is, is just, you know, because for like my other program, I couldn't text somebody from my program. I would literally have to use another program to go and text people then to to get them what, you, what they needed, right? So now yeah. in this one, I can go to the program. I can go, hey, let me go and talk to Jim. And Jim, blah, 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 right? And it's done. And then Jim hits me back. And then, we, hey, we have a conversation. And it keeps a log of those kind of things. You know what I'm saying? So it keeps a log of everything I do. If I go into his profile and I push something, I know that it's going to log and say what I did. Or I just updated the email, or I just did this, or I put this in whatever. It's going to keep letting me know. So it keeps a log. So now it can't be like, well, I don't know what happened. No, it say right there. What happened? <laughs> right there. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so let me ask you one last question. 
Yeah, yeah. Anybody that's watching this that thinking about opening a gym, maybe they're, you're a trainer right now that it's always yeah. been your dream of, of owning a gym. Yeah. What advice would you give these people um, that are in that state of mind right now? I will say this, man, that I live by three S's, right? My three S's is being sincere, being servant-minded, and being studious, right? I'm always studying, trying to find out the next thing, whatever it is for me to get. Um, servant-minded is just that I'm always giving my heart and giving whatever I do to to the, the masses, I guess, you know? And then um, just being sincere. I just, I tell the truth. If you don't like it, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit up here and try to sugarcoat whatever. When I say that gym insight is good, it is. And I know I ain't just boosting them up like that, but it is what it is. All right? Because, I mean, you know, um, people can going to tell you some horror stories about other programs and whatever, but it is what it is. And and I feel like I feel like I'm at home. Like, like these, this is where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just kind of fit right there. Bah, that's it. So, you know, when I look at that, and and being a gym owner and what kind of programs, I've always said I need a system. If I have a system, the system's gonna work. Right? And that's all they did was give me a system. They gave me a system and said, hey, this system works. Try it out. And they gave me more than enough time. And before even my little time was up, I was already ready to, hey man, give me, let me go and sign up. Let me go and do. Let me go and do what I gotta do. <laughs> So I was, I was, I was, I was already in there. Once I got there, and I started playing with it every day, every day. I started going with it. I said, oh, shit. I like that. I like that. First, I remember at first, I want to say I didn't even. I kind of let it sit for a minute. I think I did, and then I think it was like maybe a couple of days after that, whatever. Because I was, I was with my old system, and then I was like looking at it, and I said, you know what? Let me go and try this one day. It was kind of like a day like this when I can sit around and. You know, and I can kind of wait for my next client to come in. And I'm sitting up going through, and I'm just like, hmm. And then I called you, <laughs> and it was done deal, baby. And then we just started talking, man. And then we just started conversing. And we just started, and then we just vibing and saying, hey, man, blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of stuff. Man, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, um, yeah. I would tell them, man, hey, just just um, trust the process. Trust that that um that gym insight is going to give you what you need and if they don't they're going to find out what you need you know so yeah that that's a good recommendation if you're going to open a gym come to us no <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean yeah, hey <laughs> that's a good recommendation I mean, I said that and, and, I, I, and i'm being sincere about that too <laughs> come, I was and more like, come and see you yeah no i appreciate that i i was more of like hey if this is like your dream like you research, make sure you can see what rent is that's out there. Can you afford yeah. that? I, like, I mean, can you that's take what I'm talking about. When I say study, yeah. when I say study, and that's what I mean. Like, like yeah. go and look at other other companies, go and look at other things. But when it's all said and done, not saying that you have to come back to Gym Insight, but find out what works for you and what works with yeah. what you're looking for. I you know what I'm saying? It. Mine yeah. was more of I just needed some billing. I needed a system. You know what I'm saying? That was going to work. And that kind of stuff. I ain't need all the other bells and whistles. I ain't need all the other stuff along with it. Like I said, I I I um I get I gather other money from from people renting out the gym, you know. And this is from that perspective, you know. That's I have jazzercise that's in here who rents the gym. I have other trainers who who come in and rent the gym. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's a good point. We should bring yeah. that up before because that's that's. A lot of gym owners right now, we'll add this in right before we're about to go, but a lot of gym owners are doing like a 50-50 split. Some of them are like, I think that's beautiful to just charge rent this way, bad month, good month. I'm getting my money regardless. I'm not having to police trainers that are training under the table, did a parking lot deal and is now yeah. just stealing from me yeah. because they 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 want 100% of that personal training sale. Yeah. How, how have you seen renting Versus, uh, like a split, like has been it's been working really well for you. So I will tell you how how I did it, man. I, for me, I know that I was a trainer on the other side to where they were like, "Hey, we're gonna do either a 80 20 But they really try to do eight twenty. But anyway, the eighty twenty split and that kind of stuff. So, but um, they try to do this percentage thing. Then I try to look at how much I would make doing that way. Then I looked at it. 
you know, hey, it's a flat fee. Can I just pay a flat fee? That's what it is, boom, and that's it, that kind of stuff. And I looked at both ways. For me, that works for me. I give them a flat fee. They just tell me how many clients they got, boom. I got 10. Like even today, I got to check the day. I think he had 10. You know, he had 10 people today, and I probably charged him with $54 a, 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 for each one of his clients. The other money he make, that's 600 and something dollars that I just made. Yep. You know what I'm awesome. saying today? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, those are just real numbers that, you know, that I'm telling you today that I, that I, that I, you know, I'm sitting here making money because he wants to train me and he likes that. And then people like it. And then the thing about it, I give them more, more value. I give them more value by saying, not only can you train here, you can actually work out here too. So, you know, when you come in, you come in and you and you work out with this trainer or whoever trainer, I don't care. Work out with whoever trainer, you know what I'm saying? You can come and work out of here also, out of the gym. So awesome. I'm adding value to whatever they're, they even, I don't, I don't care how they do that, but they want to go by sessions or however they want to do that, it's up to them how they want to do theirs. As far as me, when it comes to me, I do mine in groups. And so I get more people, you know what I'm saying, at, at any given time. So it's never awesome. full, ever. Okay. Any, uh, Last departing words of wisdom from uh, Javon before we end the cast to uh, anybody uh, that's a trainer or owner out there that's yeah. going through some hard times right now. Any uh, words of wisdom from you? Well, I, I would say, man, that um, um, I've given, I was, I don't want to say I gave my life to it, but I've always felt like training was my, was my gift and was my thing. I always wanted to help people. And I'll tell you what got me into this. And this is, um, um, I don't even know if you knew. I sing professionally. <laughs> I sing professionally. Oh, you didn't know. So I yeah, sing you professionally. Did. You told me, yeah. Yeah, I sing professionally. So I, I, I sing a lot of gospel music and things like that. Um, I sing five part a cappella music. And one of the guys in the group had passed away. And while he was passing away, my son was being born at the same time. And I told him that I would, I would help people get to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that may be, you know what I'm saying? And what that means, you know, and, but he ended up passing away, um, dying about, about 25 at the time. And um, me and him were about the same age because he was like 25. I was like 24 or so like that at the time. But he was still in college at the time. And um, I always segue into this is that I try to give my all in everything that I do. So when I when I try to um, help somebody, if I give them a pamphlet, I give them a book and tell them to go and look or try to find something. That's that, going back to my three S's, being studious and stuff like that. Um, giving everything that I possibly have to try to make sure that they are prepared to go out into the world, right? It's kind of like the school when they say enter, the, enter to learn, go out to serve, that kind of stuff. It's kind of like that. You come in, you come, you come into my world, this is what you're going to learn. Because that's the teacher in me, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. You're gonna come in to yeah. learn, you'll go out to serve, man. You gotta go in and hit the people. Find the people with the spandex on. Find them, find them sitting in Walmart. I do it all the time. Hey, where you work out at? You work out? Oh, no, no, I got a gym right down the street. No problem. You know what I'm saying? Hit my car. I tell you nice. one little thing that I do, and I'm gonna let you go, man. I know that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. um um I have um I keep these cars with me, and on these cars, it has my my name, I wish I had one with me, but I have my name. I have all the good stuff, like my, like what my card would look like. On the right. back of that card, I just get name, uh, name, email, and phone numbers. That's all I need. I don't want nothing else, whatever it is, so they become my prospects. Then I call them. I say, hey, you remember I saw you at Walmart? You know what I'm saying? You know, good. what happened? This is Javon, blah, 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 that kind of stuff like that. And I keep in my database the whole time. I send them newsletters. I send them, I send them um, all kind of different things. What's going on at the gym? What's what what might be happening? That kind of stuff like that. Oh, I got a buddy system that's coming up on blah blah blah. Right. So I do stuff like that to kind of pull people into that and try to pull them into the gym. So I would say, you know, there's all kind of ways and do that. And that right there brought me a lot of people. And I saw that from some other trainer who did the same thing. And they just I just ripped it off the back. I keep that part, and on this part, it has the address of the of the gym, has a personal trainer on the front, that kind of stuff. And then they go, wow, 
I mean, I didn't know when I tell people I have a gym, they think I got like a, a garage and it's like real dirty and whatever else. I don't know why, but <laughs> they come in and go, wow. It's bigger than what I thought. <laughs> keep doing that because in two weeks we're gonna have our CRM in place. So you're gonna be able to put that person in there, set a time frame when to check up on that person to see if they came in. If yeah. they came in, you're gonna set a date. So yeah. keep an eye out on Jim. You're gonna see that feature within the next couple of weeks. So That's um like. Javon, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, I know man. we spent a lot of time uh, <laughs> you know hearing your story and giving us advice, what you went yes. through. Um, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're blessing right. me. Absolutely. Bless you too. Uh, have a great <laughs> rest of your day. All right, boy. 